looking at a star attraction. I'm, 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 I'm history in the making, and all yours for the taking. I'm the talk of the town, the cold side of cool. I'm a legend in a lunchtime. I'm a once in a lifetime. You're probably wondering what on earth I am showing you right now. Well, this is what is well known as Rap Rat. Rap Rat is a video board game from the early 90s which features a weird puppet-like character named, you guessed it, Rap Rat. How the game actually worked was that the game came with a VHS tape and you would have to insert that VHS tape into a player and time your plays along with the video. Now everyone knows about the Rap Rat game for its popular creepypasta that was posted. The story claims that this game was actually cursed and that the video that was playing was not like they had expected at all. There were things like flashing creepy images, demonic voices, and even Rap Rat himself watching your every move. But is all of this actually true? Is this board game actually filled with all these horrific elements? Does the board game even exist at all or is it just made up? Well, let's dive in. The story goes that there was a game released in 1992 called Rap Rat, created by an Australian team named A Couple of Cowboys. Now, one important thing to note is that this team actually did create a creepy board game called Atmosphere. So that's quite interesting to find out given the mystery we're trying to solve here. And like I already mentioned in the intro, if anyone wants to play the Rap Rat game, then they have to insert a certain VHS tape into a player and they have to play the game while watching this said VHS on the player. That's pretty much how this game operates. It all relies on the VHS and really makes for an interesting playing experience. The video itself explains the rules of the game at the very start of the tape so that players can understand what they are getting into. Now throughout the video itself, Rap Rat can be seen as a very interesting character to say the least. He will often be seen repeating certain words which makes it seem like he's glitching out. He'll tell certain players that they have to skip a turn mid game to slow them down. He'll tell certain players to say cheese constantly or even start to do weird things in general on screen. However, despite all of this, the game may seem mostly innocent enough, right? Well, this is when things get a little weird and creepy. There is a very well-known creepypasta which is all about this board game that many have been scared by back in the day. Now, this is very important to mention because if you look up Rap Rat online, pretty much 95% of the results are all about the creepypasta rather than the actual game itself. Now, like I said in my SpongeBob bootleg video, not all creepypastas are 100% fake and some can actually be based on real urban legends and have some truth to them. So how about we take a look at the story itself with a more open mind and see what we're dealing with here. Now, I'm not going to read the entire story in this video, but only the more important chunks of it since this one is more on the longer side. But if you want to, you can read the full story after this video. Anyways, here we go. The story starts out with the author giving you context on what the Rap Rat game is and how they got their hands on it. Then they talk about how Rap Rat actually scared their younger brother and Rap Rat himself didn't even look like a rat, with him having huge ears, a mouth with two teeth, a swollen look on the inside of his mouth, and most importantly, his ginormous fish-like eyes. The author then says they were so creeped out that they begged their mom to turn off the video that was playing, but then suddenly, Rap Rat shouted, wait your turn, in a demonic sounding voice that sounded nothing like his usual annoying voice that he had in the video. They could also hear the narrator in the background saying, he's Rap Rat, he's the boss, over and over again in a very serious tone. And now, this is when things really get more creepy and weird. The reader describes some images that were very quick flashed on screen during the video. The images themselves were some things that the author themselves were actually afraid of at the time. These images included a person looking over a balcony, a hornet stinging the eye of a person, a close-up of a tarantula, a pit full of cobras, and a syringe filled with green fluid. They finally turned the video off and the author ran out of the room screaming and slammed the door in fear. Now fast forward a little bit, while the author is preparing to move in with his girlfriend, he found the Rap Rat game once again with the video while cleaning his closet. They found this strange as they claimed that their mom got rid of the game after what happened last time. The author's girlfriend thought that Rap Rat was just a silly little joke, so the author had to show her the video to prove it was no joke. The author played the video, but here's the twist. The images had changed. This time, there was a clown with its nose bursting and spraying blood on the screen, a woman alone in a dark room, and a man forced to pick up white hot metal and burning his hand. Rap Rat finally showed up, but he was different. He was twisting all over the place and the costume wasn't a costume anymore, but rather real fur instead of felt. The eyes went inwards and popped back out with the giant inside out eyes watching the author's every move. The TV eventually went blank and cut to static while they could hear the thumping of tiny feet on wood. 
good. The author finally stopped the video, ejected it, and unplugged the VHS before anything else could happen. The noises had stopped and they looked out the living room window to see if there was anything there, which was causing the thumping noises, but there was nothing. The police ended up showing up and warned the author about their neighbor, which they borrowed a VHS player from to play the video, seeing a figure outside of the door and called. The author told the officer that it was them and then went to pick up the tape itself. However, the tape was scorching hot and they had to get oven mitts to pick it up, but it was still hot to the touch. The author brought the tape outside and crushed it with their winter boots on the sidewalk, making sure it was gone for good. The author then goes on to talk about how them and their girlfriend would have nightmares every single night about Rap Rat. They would wake up in the middle of the night and describe that they saw very similar images to the video in their sleep. They would hear scratching noises at night when the room was dark and what happened every time they went near the front door. Every time they said Rap Rat's name, they could hear something that just sounded like something very small dragging across the ground outside of the door just waiting. The author wanted to sue the company who made the game for damages and asked his mother where she even got the Rap Rat game in the first place. The mother had no idea and the author had to do some digging himself. He found a merchant which sold copies of Rap Rat and was sent this email after asking how to get in touch with the company who created it. Quote, I don't know about the game, but I know it was created by the same people who created Nightmare. The company is called A Couple of Cowboys. Try them. End quote. The author discovered that the company actually became defunct in 1994, only two years after Rap Rat was released. And the final line reads, quote, I discovered why they did soon after. End quote. And that concludes the Rap Rat story. So, yeah, that was quite the story. There are quite a bit of unrealistic things in this, but would this creepypasta really be based off of a true story about this game? Does the game actually have some of these horrific elements in it? Does the game even exist at all? Let's solve this mystery. So throughout this video, you may have seen me play what is supposedly the actual full Rap Rap VHS tape. Well, you can actually find the full one on YouTube and is almost an hour in length. The video itself looks very real and authentic and even features the descriptions of Rap Rat said by the author in the story, with the big ears, big eyes, and even the swollen mouth. However, there is nothing really cursed or creepy about this video like the author describes. There are no flashing images or deep demonic voices. The most creepy thing I can say about this video is just how Rap Rat himself keeps repeating words in such a weird and unnatural way that it seems like the video itself is glitching. And even some of the visuals can be seen as creepy too. But other than that, the video itself seems to be pretty innocent and just a little fun game kids can play with their families. However, this could simply just be a very well-made fan-made video and not the actual Rap Rat VHS. The author also said at the end that the company who made this game became defunct shortly after its release. So I googled the company and it turns out they actually did disband, but in 1995 after releasing Atmosphere the Third Dimension. So it is true that they did eventually disband, but is it true that this was because of the controversy surrounding Rap Rap Rat? Well, if Rap Rat was the reason, surely there would be similar stories posted online, right? Well, no. This is the only thing online that talks about a cursed incident happening while playing Rap Rat, and you can't find any huge controversies that could have led to the company shutting down. And just like in previous videos, there are no news articles talking about the dark side of this game, like, at all, which is also very suspicious, as this could totally be something to make at least local headlines. However, the main thing we want to solve is, is the Rap Rat game itself even a real board game, or is this all just fake? Well, let's do some searching. First thing I did was search Rap Rat on YouTube, and aside from the supposed full VHS, I actually managed to find a commercial promoting the game. Check it out. Y'all ready? He's in a shopping center now, showing you how having fun is the aim. Hey, Rap Rat's the name, the video board game. Rap 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 Rat! For kids who just want to have fun, hmm, so turn on your set, slide in the cassette and play. Rap 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 Rap! rap. It's VHS, it's A-OK, -okay. it's kids entertainment that's here to stay. The video board game. Rap 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 Rap! rap. So get mellow, get yellow, get the video board game, Rap Rat. He ain't no ghost, he's the most. The video board game, Rap Rat. So we now have two videos that seem pretty real and convincing. However, like I said, this could just be made by someone with lots of skill, but even then, the commercial looks very professional and definitely seems like a real ad. Speaking of ads, I also managed to find a different ad for the game, which was posted 11 years ago and also looks very realistic and believable and is even in another language. Avec 
ton puzzle avant que je termine mon fromage. Déjà fini T'as gagné Raprat, le premier jeu de société vidéo rigolo. Un jeu abourdin. On s'en fait une And also, notice how the videos shown in these ads perfectly match with the full VHS videos posted on YouTube. However, to fully confirm this as a real board game, we need to do one thing, and that is to see if we can find any evidence of the board game existing online. So, I googled Rap Rat, and I actually found some very interesting things. First of all, I found the game on a website called Board Game Geek, which describes how the game works and even attaches 16 real images of the game. This includes the game in different languages, the cheese puzzles, the board, the rule book, and so much more. I also managed to find actual copies of the game being sold on eBay, and not just one copy, but several copies being sold, with them all obviously being pre-owned. And then I found one more thing, which should explain everything. I found a Reddit post coming from the author of the original Rap Rat Creepypasta, and they even provide proof that they wrote it so that we know this guy isn't a phony just looking for attention. Anyways, the Reddit post reads, In 2012, I wrote an ambiguously true creepypasta called Rap Rat about a demonic rat named Apparat who originally appeared in some crappy video board game made in the 90s. Three years later, it has exploded, having been narrated by popular YouTube narrators, read by thousands of people, and even featured in an epic creepypasta battle against Mouse.avi. I'll begin answering questions at noon EST, and I'll keep going until I'm done work. It's a really slow day. Ask away. So with all this, I think we can confirm two things. So is Rap Rat real or fake? Well, there can actually be two answers to this question. If you're talking about the creepypasta with all the cursed stuff, then that is 100% fake. <laughs> However, if you're talking about the board game itself, that is 100% real. real. Yeah, while the Rap Rat game isn't what many think of it to be, it's still a real game that you can purchase copies of on eBay and play for yourself. And all of those videos are also 100% real and are actual videos of the Rap Rat game. So yeah, the game itself is innocent and it's not creepy in any way, shape, or form, although I can see why it could creep some younger people out or even some older people with the weird stuff that happens in the video, but nothing too crazy. This is definitely one of the more interesting explained videos I've done, as usually it's either just fully real or fully fake, but this time it's more of a split answer. If you want you can go watch the full rap rap vhs to get an idea of what the game is like and you can also watch this video of some friends playing the actual game it's pretty funny there's even a video created by the same person who actually managed to interview the real producer of the rap rat game despite the rap rat creepypasta being fake there are also many videos that depict a more cursed version of the rap rat video <laughs> You could go check out all these videos after this video is finished if you want to. But yeah, that is Rap Rat Explained. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I definitely want to keep making these explained videos as you guys seem to really like them. If you're new here, consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the summer, so it would be greatly appreciated. Also, feel free to press the join button and become a member of the channel. You obviously are not required to at all, but it would be greatly appreciated as well. I also have my Discord server, which is linked in the description if if you're interested in joining and talking about creepypasta stuff with other people there. We just reached 500 members, so thank you guys so much for that, and let's hope we can get to 1,000 soon. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Peace!